Welcome back to Coach's Corner, an exciting show. As you heard uh, Coach Smith moments ago, congratulate the Ponca City High School baseball team. Uh, that's the talk of the town right now is the Ponca City Wildcat baseball team qualifying for the uh, state baseball tournament this year and quite an accomplishment for the uh, Wildcats, for the coaching staff, and for all those involved. Uh, a great, great finish to the season and our second year head coach, uh, Coach Burris with us. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's exciting. It is exciting. Uh, in, in your years of coaching, have you been to state tournaments before? Yes, I have. I, I've been fortunate enough just in the systems I've played in and coached in and everything else. I've been to, uh, I went to two as a player. I went to another two or three as a assistant coach, and this is my second trip as a head coach. So, been to seven all total. Uh, this this coaching profession it has so many uh, rewards, it has so many downfalls as well. But what's it like to work so hard and then on a on a Saturday afternoon in May to watch Austin Emmel throw to first base to get the third out? and the boys to start throwing their gloves. What's that like for a coach? That's probably indescribable. It is, to be honest with you, it's extremely nerve wracking. Uh, I was telling all my coaches laughing about it that uh, when the ground ball was hit back to Austin, uh, you know, it was the first words out of my mouth where you've got plenty of time, step and throw, because <laughs> for these kids excited and everything else, you just want to make sure that they take care of the last play, he did a fantastic job as all these boys did. And once it happens, it's just, I mean, it's pure joy. There's nothing else that to, can describe it. I think even if you went and asked each of the boys, how did you feel at that moment? All of them would probably just shake their head and just say, it's indescribable. Oh, uh, absolutely, the, the dog pile, everything else. Uh, you know, they watch it on TV, they got to experience it. Yeah. Yeah, they did. And, you know, it's what we laughed about. You know, for these group of kids, they didn't do a half bad job with the dog pile either. Uh, nobody on, got hurt. So. Now it's on YouTube and uh -huh. just to be able to see them do that, it was it was exciting. And, you know, we, we as co coaching staff, we celebrate in our own way. We let the kids have their time and, you know, we, we were all very excited. And, you know, for our sake, for the kids' sake, it's just been a testament to the season, you know seasons of ups and downs and everything else and we just kept preaching the message to them that you know don't give up mm -hmm. don't ever give up because stranger things have happened and it just takes getting hot at the right time and for three days we got hot um you went into the regionals last week a game under 500 you come out with a state tournament berth i wasn't that surprised because you thought this team was good enough to get there when we when we talked in in uh, in march now you play such a difficult schedule. When you go to that regional, you're prepared to play the best teams in the state. Yeah, we are. Uh, so one thing about the East and the, the difference from the West, and you know, my opinion, a lot of other people's opinions, you know, especially with our district, it was from the top to the very bottom. It was a grind day in, day out. And it was, you know, we played so many close games against some of these bigger schools and against other people. And I, and we came out on the wrong end of some of those, some of those we won. And I continued to tell the boys, you know, just everything's a learning experience. You know, everything throughout the season, it's a learning experience. And once you get to playoffs, you start all over. It's a 0-0 zero, zero record, and that's what matters. Everybody goes in even. Um, but you went into a scenario, Coach, where that might have been the most difficult regional there was with Stillwater, a team that – a lot of people thought could win it again. Uh, Broken Arrow had the home field advantage, and they're always a powerhouse. So, you know, you didn't have to get through just one powerhouse team. You had to get through two teams and go to the max, but you got it done. Too. Well, yeah, and it's funny you should say that, Phil. We we had a discussion as a coaching staff on the way home, and you know, me not being from this area and not really understanding a lot of the history, uh, you know, learning as I go about this, you know, I knew with the Broken Arrows and the Tulsa Unions and the Wassos and those big four that everybody talks about, you know, being able to beat them was a huge accomplishment. I mean, huge accomplishment on that first day to be able to come back. I mean, we're facing an 8-7 deficit with two outs and two strikes whenever we just, Chase Kurtz just puts the ball in play. And just by doing that, 
we put pressure on them because we run the bases hard and we're able to, you know, we're able to find a way to win that game. But for me, it was something that, you know, my assistant coaches had to point out was the fact that, you know, beating Stillwater, you know, everybody wants to talk about the big four and do all this. But at the end of the day, Stillwater was still the defending state champions. Mm -hmm. They were still the team that for years has been a pain in Ponca City's side. You know, they've been the ones that, uh, you know, Coach Park said, last time he reached the regional finals uh, undefeated, he faced Stillwater whenever they had Brett Anderson, and uh, he got beat twice. And, you know, Coach Tenoya, who's been here forever, he said the same thing. He said Stillwater for so many years has been the one to end our season, and it was just fitting that it was a reverse. Uh, well, uh, testament to the great job Austin Immel did on Thursday in a 2 nothing shutout over Stillwater, too. Yes, it was. You know, it was uh, it's one of those things where Austin went out did exactly what Austin does most of the time. We played really good defense, got some timely hitting, and Austin was able to shut them down. And then, you know, but the thing about this week was, which was so impressive, and it's what I've told so many people, it wasn't just one kid. It wasn't one kid that was doing it. It was the entire group, and that was a thing that so many people don't even understand. And, you know, we went into that last game after getting beat by Stillwater, and I went down, talked to the kids. First time I'd really talked to them all week. I just kind of let them do their thing. And the one thing that they kept saying after I told them, you got to do it all together. It takes all 22 of us to get this thing done. And they all said the same thing. Once they said it, I knew we were about to, I knew what was about to happen. And they started saying, that's right. We're a family coach. We're a family. Yeah. That's what matters. Well, uh, many times the chemistry, whether it happens early or late, that's the key. And for your team, uh, I don't know if you have an idea of where or when it kicked in, but obviously uh, having a group of seniors that have played together, not just this year, folks. These these boys, a lot of them, they, they played peewee ball growing up together. There's nine or ten of them that, uh, you know, I, I think maybe sometimes uh, at home they'll sit and go, this is my last hurrah, and maybe it all just kicked in at the same time for them. And it did, you know. It, it, it's no secret to anybody, you know, it's been an up and down season, as I stated earlier. And the one thing that I continually preach to the kids and I continually told everybody else is that there's going to come a point in time when it all clicks. And whenever that mm -hmm. clicks for these kids, they've got a chance to accomplish a lot of things. And we went into that last week, going into everything. And once Thursday came and it was time for competition, it clicked and the boys just, you know, came together. Absolutely. Uh, you, you watch these regionals, Coach, and um, most teams have a number one that is good enough to beat just about anybody in the state. Ponk is like that. And then everybody's got good two and three and downline pitching. But when you get into these regionals, Coach, after the first game, especially if you're on the loser side and you have to just start throwing everybody, um, you look up at the scoreboard and it lights up. I mean, it's yeah. it, you're going to see a lot of ball games in which you know you got runs now and so I'm sure that that uh, you know that 6-0 lead in that Stillwater last game uh, that was very very key even though they came back to get those six runs. It was key but and I told my coaches beforehand you know going into that we needed a big inning we needed to start mm -hmm. off and do everything just because you know for these kids they've never been there. Stillwater is a defending state champion for a reason and they they had been there, and so going out and being able to do that, it was huge. And the key was for us in that final game, everybody wants to talk about the big things that happened, and they're all exciting. But we had performances from each one of those kids that stepped on the mound in that last game, and we threw uh, four different kids in that final game, and all four of them did their job. You know, they did their job. Even in that first game that we got beat 10-6, to 6, those kids did their job of going out and throwing innings and being able to be able to get to where we needed to get to and then being able to answer back. That was something that we hadn't done so long. You know, we jump up on them 6 nothing. Stillwater scores four, we score again. You know, we scored in every inning of that entire game with the exception of one. Mm -hmm. One inning that they shut us out. Every other inning, we scored at least one run, and that, that was huge. 11-10, the yes. final score. Yes. And... Uh, 
Um, I'm sure as disappointed as Stillwater was, uh, Coach Burris and his coaching staff and players, obvious celebrations, and we hope you'll check them out on, uh, uh, I know they're on um, uh, Facebook and, and all, the, yeah. all, the, uh, uh, all the things you can look at. Um, Coach, state tournament, Thursday, as we record our program here, we don't know all the teams yet because of the weather delays and all that, but uh, you'll be one of eight teams that will congregate at the uh, David Allen Ballpark over in Enid. And, and uh, I know it's just exciting to think about the buildup, and uh, mm. I'm sure your phone hasn't stopped ringing either, has it? <laughs> no, it hasn't. That's something I've got to go get fixed. My text messages stopped working this morning, <laughs> so I've got to do that. But, yeah, it, it's been exciting. You know, I, I told everybody, and, you know, I, I'm excited about it, and I had different people asking me different reactions from myself, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's what I've told so many. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, I'm excited for myself, but I'm more excited for my coaching staff and those kids. Is there a, as you prepare, you've got three days, is there a, a point where you say, I've got to make sure that my team understands that this is a big step, but it's not the biggest step. We want to make sure that they know we're one of eight teams now that could win the, yeah. they could win the state championship. Well, my take on it as a coach, I, uh, they know, you know, they know, they know that they're one of the eight remaining. They know that they're three games away from, you know, being a state champion. They know all those things. So for my job, my job is to take it as it's just another day, mm -hmm. you know, let's do what got us to this point. And that's going out, having fun, playing together as a team. And so for the next three days in practice, that's going to be the message, you know, Nothing changes. The only thing that changes is we're one of the eight left and just go out there and play because, you know, I promise come Thursday, come that opening day, even if I haven't said a word, these kids will be nervous. And once they step out on the field and see a packed ballpark, mm -hmm. they're going to they're gonna feel it. So for my sake, I just have to preach to them, it's just another day. Mm -hmm. You control your destiny. But uh, as far as practice and all that, you're just going to try to keep everything as normal as possible. Yep. Then. Go through what what got us here. Go through what works. You don't. That's one of the things that I've heard from a lot of coaches that I I take to heart is you know don't change what's working. Uh, you can try to reinvent the wheel and do everything, but just keep doing what we've been doing. I've got I've got to uh, look back. We drive by your. Uh, your facility during the winter and there'd be kids out there in the cages taking taking swings and, and uh, on nice days they'd be out there. You know, teams don't win state championships in May. They win them in the winter when they really are that dedicated. Yep, and it's, you know, playing summer baseball. The kids coming out in October whenever we started and gearing up and hooking up, the morning workouts, the 530s, all of those things have contributed to this one deal you know the hard work pays off does doesn't it absolutely well coach congratulations we will see you thursday and uh hopefully saturday night as well that would be a lot of fun but i know that everybody is so proud that's all i've uh, had people talk about and uh you know in a community like this they, they really kind of grab a hold of things like this don't they yep and you know for our sake for the boys sake I hope that everybody in this town can find a way to be there whenever we play because regardless, this is an experience that these boys will never forget. And the more people that can be there to cheer them on for every hit, for every out, it's just going to add to it and it's going to just add to the excitement and to the enjoyment for these boys. Yeah, terrific. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Drew Burris, our baseball coach. Congratulations to the Ponca City baseball team as they head to the state tournament. For Chris Adams behind the camera, Coach Burris, I'm Phil Turney.